Hello everyone, Pentuf here today for a new InShop video concerning the Royal FV217 Badger. The offer is in the shop, collectible tier 10 with everything, the garage slot, the 9 equipment slots un unlocked, the legendary camouflage, uh, pretty much everything you need to have a good start with the tank and we're gonna try to find out in this video if the tank is worth it or not. Uh, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna put it in a review, I'm probably gonna put uh, in a InShop Shop. I'm probably gonna put it in a review simply because it will allow me to have a full review of the Badger and not simply an in-shop. It's easier for people to find out. But overall, what do you need to know about this beast? I know a lot of people don't actually like the tank simply because of its mobility and they are in their right because... You know what? I'm gonna start with the mobility. The mobility sucks. Even if, you, if it seems like you have a great engine power... You are slow as hell. Usually you will go around 28 kilometers per hour with a really bad travel speed. The main problem of the Badger is probably that you're extremely weak against light and medium tanks because if they decide to circle you, you are completely fucked. The only way for them not to, uh, not to circle you is for you to stay with your team and it's really important and that's why a lot of people don't like the Badger. It's not a versatile or independent tank, it's a tank that requires support in order for you to do good games. Always stick with your team or make sure that nobody can actually circle you. That's the first tip concerning the mobility as it's a really bad one. Now, why uh, why do I tell you that the mobility is bad? Simply because the armor is excellent, at least on the front. If you take a look at the front of the tank, there are several things you need to understand. All this part is impenetrable. The whole part is impenetrable as soon as you angle it, even for every tank destroyers at tier 10 shooting with gold shells. Except maybe the only one that can actually penetrate now is the Ori, because it has 380 millimeters of penetration. But overall, if you don't have at least 360 millimeters of penetration, you are not going to go through that when it's angled. That's the first thing. Now, frontally, you still have a weak spot. That's logic because a tank without weak spot is completely broken. And the weak spot is located on the front, uh, the lower part of the hull. That's the only way for you to penetrate. And even if it seems to be a weak spot, it's quite hard to penetrate actually. Uh, a lot of times when I'm playing with my mediums, I try to sneak a shot here and it bounced uh, all the time. I don't know why, that's how it is. The Badger is extremely armored and that's probably one of, the, one of the few things you need to understand. So overall, you have a weak spot here, you have an impenetrable armor all here and the gun that is doing the trick. Now, uh, of course, you need to be careful because uh, I told you frontally you have a good armor, but on the sides, no armor. And especially at the rear, everybody is gonna penetrate with HE shells. So really be careful about that. Always show only your tank frontally. You don't need to angle it. You stay still straight in front of your opponent. Don't even try to angle it just a little bit like that because I tell you, your sides are paper. So always stay in front of your opponent, straight in front, don't try to angle, this is bullshit, the Badger is not made for that. Now, let's talk a little bit about the gun before jumping into some battle. The gun is simply one of the best guns at tier 10. Great aiming time, great gun dispersion, enormous damage per minute, good reload time, great penetration, great average damage, great gun depression, everything is fine. This is a god tier gun. And the fact that you have 10 degrees of gun depression should make you wonder, okay, how should I play this tank? Really simple. You go somewhere where you can hide the lower part of your hull, you show only your gun, you try to, uh, to use your gun depression to lower it maximum and this way when you try to put your gun like this and shoot your enemies in front of you, you, have, you, you are going to angle that part artificially and therefore increase your armor. That's all you need to do with the Badger and that's how you are going to destroy everybody. So if we sum up, really bad mobility, so be aware that you're really weak against light tanks and medium tanks, enormous frontal armor, probably one of the few impenetrable armors at tier 10 if you manage to play with the tank correctly on rich lines by hiding your lower plate and a simply a god tier gun so overall is the tank worth 20,000 gold it's all up to you I mean uh, if you really like slow tanks but are uh, that are actually really easy to fire to 
to um, ah easy to play with on the front line this tank is made for you if you're not uh, if you're not uh, into tanks that are quite weak if they are not in the good position don't go for this one because this one is extremely situational it's either you manage to get it in the right position and it's completely broken or you don't get the right map or the right team and you're gonna get wrecked so it's a 50 yeah it's a 50 50 chance to get a good game with it now how am i playing it for the provisions i go for the three last one as always and for the equipment i go for the gun rammer first because i already have a good penetration so why not increase my damage per minute even more after i go for the enhanced gun lane drive and the vertical stabilizer because i already have a good gun depression so why not increase my aiming time as much as possible for the vitality the defense system because i'm not gonna ram anybody enhanced armor because i told you you have one of the best armors at tier 10 therefore if you can maybe a little bit increase it why not with the the strengthening uh, equipment after a toolbox toolbox because an end track is useless i go for improved optics because with the badger you need to play aggressively or at least that's how i'm playing mine i mean you have an amazing armor so why not play in on the front line and make everybody bounce so i will spot for myself after engine accelerator because uh, because i have a really bad mobility so i need to increase it a little bit and finally i end consumables because i would rather be able to use adrenaline uh, for a longer period of time simply because when i use adrenaline with this tank having the a great reload allows me to put a lot of shells in my enemies let's go for some life battles Okay, so I already talked about the playstyle, but I'm gonna try to show you how it works. What is good about the Badger is that your playstyle will never change. You only have one thing to do, you hide your lower plate, you try to angle on mountains, ridge lines, using your gun depression, and you're set up to do ace tankers. If you have a good team, of course, I told you this tank is team dependent. Okay, so for the first map, we have New Bay. If we are on the bright side of the map and we go in the town, it could be actually quite a good game for us because as you can see, they have three heavies. So I'm expecting them to go in the town. But let's see how it goes. Uh, I'm sorry, that's my first game of the of the day. So probably my, uh, my, my first login into the battle is going to be slow. I'm probably going to arrive after the countdown is over. Is it the case? Yeah, it's the case. Alright, so it seems like my team decided to go on the medium side. It's not really a problem. I mean, if I manage to go to this position, it's gonna take time. But if I manage to get there, I can use my gun depression and they will not be able to shoot me. So that's probably a perfect position for me, even if I'm expecting them to be in the town. Uh, yeah, they are in the town. So we are not... Uh, I tell you, you have a bad mobility. And when you have a bad mobility, you need to think about every single one of my of your moves. So here, it's useless for me to climb there because clearly they are on the other side of the map. They are in the town, as I told you. So instead of dropping, or of losing my time going up here, I'm gonna go straight into the town trying to find a position that is more suitable for my tank. I'm gonna, I'm gonna press help a little bit, trying to get some help from my team. If I place myself here, I don't think, yeah, I don't think that they can see my lower plate, and they can't, and they don't care, nobody's shooting me actually. We went for a first shot here, come on, let's do it again, yeah, see, here he didn't manage to penetrate, I'm in the perfect position if they stay still in front of me like that. I should be able to get some really, really great games. Okay, unfortunately we bounced, we took the, the, the shell from the, how is it called? from the the yak panther playing with each else we managed to kill a boy okay if we stay here maybe we can actually sneak a shot yeah okay good okay i need to be careful simply because i have a sheridan in my back now come on come on come on we turn we turn we tour we turn no oh. yeah i, I want to go on that sheridan because he's gonna fuck me up probably all right let's get that sheridan Okay, we managed to sneak a shot. Is he gonna try to go away? Yeah. Okay, now he's running away so I can come back to my position. For the moment, I don't have the worst team ever. I mean, they are protecting my flank and that's extremely important when you're playing with this one. And it's working, it's working. As it's working, I'm probably gonna try to play a little bit more aggressively. Trying to get a shot on the Sheridan. Yep, nice. If you can, with this tank, always focus your uh, your opponents that are a real problem to you for example Sheridan here okay we pop some adrenaline we're probably gonna take the shot from the 100 he bounced nice we kill him and now we go on the rest come on come on come on 
Maybe I shouldn't have used my adrenaline right now. Okay, we only have to deal with the IS-7. We're gonna push him. And here you're gonna see the strength of the Badger. Because if I stick myself to this tank, he can penetrate me. Look at this. Just face sagging, and now we're set up. It's impossible for the IS-7 to actually penetrate me. So I'm in a really good position. Come on, we sneak in another shot. He's probably gonna die now before I can do anything. Or maybe actually they have all... No. There was the AV-4202. Without the AV-4202, probably that I would be able to destroy it. So yeah, overall here what I did, I just hide my lower plate and tried to get shots. And when I had the possibility, I took some shots on my mediums and light tanks. That's how you want to play the Badger. We're going to go for another game. Maybe, uh, maybe a game that is less easy than the one we just had. No, uh, yeah, a game less, e less easy. That would be cool. We're going to see. We're going to see how it goes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Why is it taking so long to, to find a game? I don't get it. Ooh! Okay, here it's gonna be extremely juicy if I manage to take my favorite position. Here, yeah, here, uh, I hope my team is gonna follow. But if my team follows, which seems to be the case regarding how many heavy tanks we have, oh boy, are we gonna have some fun. And I'm sorry if you hear my, um, how is it called? If you hear my Discord, uh, my Discord popping, I forgot to put the streamer mode. I'm gonna say hello. So yeah, I told you, all you need to do is find a position where you can hide your lower plate, only show the upper part of the tank and using gun depression. We're gonna go there, especially th this position is amazing. You're gonna understand, you're gonna understand. I'm gonna be impenetrable and I'm gonna fuck them up if they are on this side, of course. So we'll see. No team, no. Okay, what does it mean? We don't know. We'll maybe find out sooner or later. Did they decide to go on the other side? Four players in the corner camping. Okay, so it seems like they have people here. I'm gonna try some blind shots, I don't care. Four, three. Okay, for the moment, I'm set up. Come on, let's sneak a shot. Six, five, four. Oh, fuck, he's not spotted anymore. Okay, I actually need my mediums to spot for me. I'm not gonna go there. It's not my job, and if it's not my job, it's not my problem. I'm gonna try another blind shot. Okay, maybe is maybe I'm gonna be too greedy trying this. No, it worked, it worked. Okay, four. Okay, let's pop some adrenaline. Easy peasy, lemon peasy. Come on, we sneak one shot, and I'm impenetrable. As long as I stay in front of them, I'm impenetrable. They can do shit. Yeah, we went for another shot. Okay, it's perfect. That's the perfect matchmaking. Just look at how they are gonna struggle penetrating me. It's impossible for them to penetrate. They can't penetrate me as long as I stay in front of them. And that's exactly what we're about to do. We don't need to take risks. And if we don't need to take risks, we're not going to take any. Let's go for some blind shots. Oh, juicy. Juicy WT. Come on, can I sneak a shot? No, come back. No. Okay, he's hiding. Come on, that's a little bit boring because I need my team to actually spot for me. I can't go there. Okay, T-54. No, T-57 is dead. Okay, you know what? Let's go in now. Oh, oh no, 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 because there, there is still the WT there. Oh, look at this snapshot. Told you, the gun dispersion is amazing. Okay, so for the moment, what am I doing? I'm simply taking a position that allows me to sneak some shots without taking shots back. That's all I need to do. That's the perfect position. And that's why I'm not moving. Come on. Maybe we can sneak a shot on that E5. Fix. Four, three, two, one. I'm gonna go for an APCR just to be sure. Yeah, it went for Four, three. Okay, that was really nothing hard here. We they, they really had a bad team, four of them. But I don't care. As long as I can do my damage. Four, three, two, one. Mm. Okay, let's try this. No. Let's try to get that 704. He's probably here. If I try a blind shot, maybe. Yes! Uh, blind shot, baby. Okay, so yeah, you see, 
all the time it's a pretty boring gameplay in terms of dynamics you need to stay in the back you need to hide your lower plate and your setup so yeah overall that's it for the badger it was pretty it was not the best games i ever had with the badger but simply because i had two amazing teams in a row so hope you enjoyed hope you learned how to play your badger and i tell you if you understand if you have map knowledge on knowing where you have to go when you have a good gun depression in order for you to hide your lower plate this tank is made for you Hope you enjoyed. If that's the case, feel free to subscribe, like, and share. Don't forget that you're not here to be better, but to be the best. Pentoof, over.